Hi guys, it's Sheena from Teton Raptor Center and I'm here to give you all this week's patient update. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna kick things off this week by highlighting our most recent release. This is Bald Eagle 2-4. She's been with us since early February and she came to us after being illegally shot. Now, this bird has made an amazing recovery and she was actually released back into the wild today. Here she is in the final stages before release. We always do a blood draw to make sure everything looks good. So here we are doing that and she is back out in the wild. I'm gonna hope to attach a video of that release next week in the update so stay tuned for that next up this week is golden eagle 3-9 this is the bird that came from green river wyoming with a metacarpus fracture and some feather damage so we've been doing a lot of physical therapy with this bird and he has been molting like crazy there's a molted feather that naturally fell out on its own which is a natural and completely normal process for birds to go through when they're growing in new feathers so as soon as all of these new feathers fully come in we're going to be moving her or him out to the flight barn but Here's just a close-up of you can see all those gaps where we do need more feathers to come in before this bird can Start flying normally and then in this second video clip right here You can actually see the feather follicle shaft where those feathers are growing out of so really cool to be able to see this in such a large bird with large feathers Next up this week is Golden Eagle 313, and this is the bird that had a ruptured crop and a fractured coracoid. That coracoid has healed nicely, but um, might cause a little bit of pain in his shoulder, and so he's on a course of anti-inflammatory pain medication, and then after that, we're gonna continue with flight conditioning again. Next up, we've got Great Horned Owl 330, and this is the bird that had a shoulder injury and a coracoid fracture in his right wing after dealing with a gunshot wound. Um, he's doing okay. We had to move him out of the larger flighted arena into a smaller enclosure in the flight barn just because he wasn't able to get a lot of lift when he would open his wings. So um, he's doing well, but we just uh, need some more time before we start flying him again. Last but not least this week, we've got Great Horned Owl 4-2. This is the bird that came in with head and eye trauma, and I'm super excited to announce that we just moved him out to the flight barn, and here he is taking off for his very first flight. He's got beautiful symmetry and really great lift, getting able to get up in the air, so that's exactly what we like to see. All right, that's all we've got this week. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed learning more about our birds. Remember that if you wanna do your part to help keep wild birds wild, you can check out our website at tetonraptorcenter.org and make a donation. I'm also gonna link that donate link in the comments below so you can check it out there as well. Bye.